You know how in high school some kids get defined by the groups they're in, right? The athletes, they're the kids who get incredible grades, they're the ones who are drawn to service. Every once in a while there's a student who is all of those things and more. Her nursing is a sophomore at Rio Mesa High School in Oxnard, straight A student. He developed his own video game and by the way, Brother's also a highly ranked varsity tennis player. In fact, his sister had started a program to help kids called Tennis for Tots. Well, like many things, it was shut down during that pandemic. But this year, Harnoor took that on his shoulders and restarted the program. Well, we knew we just had to talk to this Oxnard team. He joins us now. And by the way, just 14 years old. So you're making us all feel like we're not doing nearly enough, Arnor. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. We have to point out it's your 15th birthday next month. So I'm going to give you a happy yes. birthday wish. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about this tennis program. Um, tennis is obviously in, super important to you. You're a varsity tennis player, like number one in your league, by the way. Aren't you like top 200 in the nation? Yeah, I'm top 200 in the nation. Okay, so you've got a little bit of skill, in other words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been playing since I was seven years old. So you know what the game of tennis can do for kids. Yes, yeah, I know that it's a it's an amazing game, and so many kids just lack the resources to get started. And my whole goal with the program was to just light a spark of passion for tennis in their hearts. And you know, just we just give them all the resources they need to succeed. Someone light the spark in you, so you're doing the same thing for the for the next generation, right? So, do you <laughs> see what do you see the spark kind of take off when some of the kids come out and touch a tennis tennis racket for the first time? Oh yeah, definitely. I, they're all of them are just super excited, and oh. they all come back, you know, time and time again. All the parents love it, you know. It's usually hard to keep the attention of like you know the the five to seven year old sure. kids, but as long as they're having fun, then they can play for you know the whole hour, and they want to play more. After right, anything. right. Because you're doing this every Friday for about an hour uh, there at the Rio Mesa tennis courts, right? Yes. And and look, I bet families are just happy to have their kids doing something that they're, they're, it's an activity, it's a game, so it's teaching them some structure, but it's also just getting them into the fresh outdoors. Yeah, so it's a it's a great blessing that we were able to do this with the help of our, our coach Edwards and the athletic director, Mr. Ruffinelli. And, you know, I think it's great for the kids to finally be outside of the house because yeah. they were locked. They were locked in their houses for so long during COVID and their mental health was at a risk. And this, you know, really allows them to interact in a safe way with other kids. Has that really helped you too, Horner? Like I think tennis for, for a teen probably is a really nice escape, right? Yes, yeah. Tennis, it's, you know, when you step on the tennis court, all your other worries go away. Oh. All, you're, all you're thinking about is tennis. That's amazing. Maybe a 51-year-old newscaster needs to pick up the game of tennis. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Arthur? You got? You think I got game in me or no? You think I can do sure. that? I mean, I'm like, Give it a play. shot, right? If a five-year-old can do it, maybe I can. Okay, so course, it's not yeah. just that. I mean, you're getting great, great, great grades in school. Top GPA in your class, 4.0. My God, like just incredible what you're doing. Um, but then also you've created created your own video game, but I understand you were a little like not really eager to publish it. Why, why, why were you so shy about that? Well, it was in middle school. It was in seventh grade. Uh, it was called Sing's Funhouse. At the time, you know, coding was just a, a hobby for me. You know, compared to other video games that I had seen, it was obviously not very good. So I didn't, you know, I didn't think it would go anywhere or, you know, I didn't publish it. But I'm still proud of it that I was able to create it. You should time. be proud of that. You're doing things that a lot of other people wouldn't be doing. Um, okay, so what's coming next for you? Do you think? Obviously, tennis is is something you're going to be pursuing. Yes. So I, you know, I I want to play tennis. I hopefully want to play D1 if I am that good. But in terms of uh, studying, uh, I want to do a PhD JD in college, a PhD in aeronautical engineering. I've loved planes since I was a kid, so that really appealed to me. I love technology, so a PhD JD, that would be my goal. You know what, uh, you're making Oxnard and the rest of the state super proud of you, honey. Like seriously, just a terrific young man. Your family must be so incredibly proud and you should be proud of yourself as too, as well. We just wanted to sort of shine a light on the things that you're doing for the kids in the, in the area uh, and getting them out there playing the great game of tennis. Don't worry, you won't see me on a court anytime too soon. <laughs> Uh, Harnoor Singh from Rio Mesa High School. He's a sophomore there, about to have his 15th birthday next month. Thanks for joining us today.
Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And you know what? We'll tell you about the free tennis clinic. We'll make sure to put a link up on our website every Friday. If you live in Oxnard, the Rio Mesa tennis courts. I mean, come on. Great way to introduce your ch children to the game. Uh, we're going to take a short break. Back in a minute. Thanks for joining That was great. Great conversation.